Welcome to the second section of the course. In the previous section, we got familiar with what microservices are and what they bring to the table. In this section, we will get familiar with various Java microservice frameworks. We will continue with setting up our development environment and creating our first microservice using Pyara Micro. We will use JIX RS to build a crude REST API and then use CDI to further enhance and optimize the microservice structure and code. On top of that, we will take a look at what MicroProfile is and what it's setting out to achieve. This is the first video of the second section, Java Microservice Frameworks Overview. In this video, we will take a look at the landscape of Java EE microservice frameworks and describe why we choose the frameworks we chose. Before microservices were introduced and became popular, Java EE and Spring were the de facto standards for creating new enterprise, or for that matter any, Java web apps or services. While there were many vendors, the APIs were the same thanks to their standardization. The difference between them was mostly in the implementations. In any case, most of it was monolith-oriented design, but then microservices came and changed everything. The most popular frameworks suddenly began to look incompatible with these new paradigms and architectures. There was a void to fill and many frameworks started appearing. Drop Wizard, Wildfly Swarm, Spark, and so on. However, the best of them had something in common. They were still based on Java EE or Spring technologies, at least partially. They were proven and they work. And as REST APIs are the most popular, the most common Java EE technology became JIX RS. A healthy lightweight subset and a different, more cloud-oriented approach to Java EE components brought in a great combination and evolution of the traditional Java enterprise technologies to the microservice world. The main Java EE component we will focus on throughout the course will be JIX RS, as each microservice will contain a REST API to access the functionality it will provide. JIX RS is one of the more modern Java EE components and arguably one of the best, as it's in use in practically every popular Java web framework. It also provides a great REST API client, which we will use to create integrations between microservices. Currently, the latest version is 2.0.1, However, 2.1 is scheduled to be released with Java E8 towards the end of the year 2017. As the implementations of 2.1 in various frameworks is not yet finalized, we will mostly be using 2.0.1. However, the latest version brings support for server-side events and reactive programming, which will not be the focus of this course. We divided the frameworks into three groups and took one from each for the course. Pyara Micro, which is full Java EE based, Drop Wizard, which contains a combination of Java E and other libraries, and Spring Boot, which is Spring based in its entirety. Pyara is originally a full Java E application server derived from Glassfish, for which they offer full support. Later, they created the Micro version, which is a cut down version to run from a single jar for microservices. Internally, it is still an app server and, as such, is a great example of a pure Java E based microservice platform. It also has the benefit of using the entire Java E ecosystem, which few products have. Drop Wizard is a Java framework for developing lightweight services. It contains Servlet, JIX RS, and Bean validation components from Java EE, as well as several other great libraries such as Jackson, JDBI, and so on. It is a great example of a healthy mix of both worlds, enterprise and non enterprise. It can also be run directly. Or from a fat jar. Spring Boot is a tool that enables standalone Spring applications that are tailored for modular and lightweight apps or microservices. All of the Spring components are optionally available, as well as some additional specifically tailored for the cloud metrics, health, and external configuration. It also has the benefit of using the entire Spring ecosystem.